The outside looking in, it looked like we had it all together. And um, we had three children and we had what looked like a normal life. We were um, involved in church ministry as well. And uh, it looked good and it felt good at the time. A great marriage, three kids, and an active church life would lead anyone to believe that Norma Gauthier had it all together. But five years ago, something just didn't feel right. I just wasn't sure what my purpose in life was. I, I just couldn't find happiness, and I felt like I wasn't giving the best that I could to those around me, to my children, to my husband. Norma thought that her growing dissatisfaction with life was caused by external factors, so she began making drastic changes, which included leaving her church. We got involved with a bigger church, and it was just easier to go in and out the doors and just not get connected with people. It became easier to miss church on Sundays. But the root of the problem became clearer and clearer, maybe not to Norma, but to those closest to her, including her husband. He would also say to me that it's hard to love somebody who doesn't love themselves. I was just failing again, like I couldn't, he was right, I couldn't love myself. One night I was just sitting on my bedroom floor and I was crying out to God, just asking him, is this all there is to my life? And I really felt like I, I, I just didn't know how to cope anymore. It took a lot of pressuring, but Norma finally talked to a specialist about her condition and the diagnosis hit her like a freight train. Severe depression, borderline personality disorder, and anxiety disorder. I was put on some medication for depression. I just didn't understand where God was in this and why I, I couldn't pull myself out of the way I was feeling. Honestly, it, it felt like just a slow way of being dead, of dying. You know, there was no hope. I, I couldn't see a future ahead of me. I, I couldn't feel anything. Suicidal thoughts and attempts soon followed. But the hardest thing for Norma was that no one understood and no one could respond to her veiled cries for help. Talk to me when your head's screwed on straight. Um, you just need to pull up your bootstraps. Um, there's people fighting for their lives and you're trying to take yours. I didn't freely share a lot of my, my deep emotions because there was still, you know, that um, stigma with depression. I didn't want them to find me with any kind of blood or guts. I just wanted to, you know, pass away just by taking overdose of medication. I knew that it would hurt them initially, but I thought, and I would convince myself that their pain would be temporary and that they would be so much better off without me and all the things that I was going through. And I would wake up uh, in the hospital, God, why won't you let me die? And I'd be so angry at God. One of the times when my youngest son was home and they had found me, and I'm not aware of anything, I was not coherent, um, but I was told later that I would yell out, just let me die, let me die. And my son said, if that's what she wants, then just let her die. After my last serious attempt, uh, my husband said I could no longer come home. He said that our family had been through enough and he could not watch them suffer any longer. To me, there was nothing now. My family was most important and now they were no longer in my eyes, going to be part, I wasn't going to be part of that. The years of pain and suicidal attempts took its toll on her family, who eventually distanced themselves from her. But a lifeline existed in one particular friend who had an idea that was a little outside the box. And then uh, Windsor Life Center came on the map. Windsor Life Center is an addiction recovery home for women. Norma's case was different, but the pastors and staff knew that God was up to something the minute she walked through the door and Norma has seen God work miracles in her life ever since. That was the first time I ever truly felt that someone understood what I was going through. I am here to say that I am a totally changed person. I felt that I couldn't be loved because of the horrible things that I had done in my past, uh, you know, trying to kill myself and 
I've learned so much about myself. I've learned to love myself. And, you know, learning to take those negative thoughts, like take them captive um, to God. I just have such freedom now, you know, just praising and worshiping God and, and really understanding His Word. And, you know, as those layers come off and, and the pain and the agony of walking through those, it's like the chains have been, you know, been broken off me. I've been set free. And that freedom has given Norma the courage to share her story so that others will know that God will never leave you or forsake you no matter how bad things get. If my suffering can change one life, it's been worth it. And I didn't think I could say that uh, because I felt like I had been through the depths of hell. And uh, I just want so much to give encouragement to anybody who's struggling with depression. Um, because it can be battled and God is the answer. Depression is such, is so widespread and there's so many people that are dealing with it and we don't even realize what, what's going on inside of them. And there needs to be no guilt or shame associated with it. I want people to know that they can experience that same freedom. I feel that God wants to use me and I want to you know, reach out to other people and let them know that there is hope.